Now what we're going to do is do a little cutting technique here. Okay. I'm going to take this 12 inch knife. I'm going to get you started. All right. All right. The technique is a, you first you have to stand with your feet distributed equal weight and you form an X with your product mm -hmm. so that everything is right here. You're not leaning to one side and you have to be really ready to use your knife properly. So the food is, is helping you form the X. The toe of the knife is on the cutting board. The knife power is here at the back of the knife. So when you're cutting, it's just a matter of coming straight down. Okay. If you try to do it up here, it's awkward. Mm -hmm. So that's not a good technique. A lot of people try to do that. However, you have to learn the claw. Mm -hmm. And that's the critical step in learning how to use a knife. You have to use the claw because that's what's going to put the food up next to the knife. And the blade of the knife can be up against, but there's no finger sticking out. And that's the whole idea is there's nothing for the knife to cut. I can sit here like this, cutting this, talking to you. I know where the knife is all the time. I'm not worried about cutting my fingers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't text on your phone while you're doing this, right? Yes, but it really is a good technique. Where you make a mistake is to lift the knife above the table. That's incorrect. Mm -hmm. The toe of the knife has to be here, the power of the knife here, and the knife has to be sharp. There's one technique for cutting fruit that usually works for all your fruit. And I like to use a Santuco or any of these knives. But basically, mm -hmm. you take and cut the bottoms off so mm -hmm. you have a base. And you take your knife and cut down, take all the skin off. I'm still using that same claw technique. Okay. Cut it in half, take a spoon, mm -hmm. and clean out the core. Uh -huh. Now cantaloupe's ready for cutting and what you have to do you actually do lift the knife but very carefully because you have a very sharp knife uh -huh. there's your fruit ready uh -huh. for a fruit tray so how do you feel about that I think I can handle it okay let's practice all right make sure you have your feet distributed all right, all right. and then you do a little rocking motion all right Finger oh you got your fingers perfect all right okay a little rock forward Look at that. She's a pro. <laughs> You're doing that great. You really are. Feel a little more comfortable? Oh, yeah. After you do it for a while, it does become natural. At first, it's extremely awkward. Yeah, the left hand, not the cutting hand, the left hand is the one that's, that's tough it. to get, really. And that's the one that gets cut all the time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Poor left hand. Unless you're left-handed, then... Well. <laughs> Well, Costa has shown me how to cut many different kinds of vegetables and fruits, and I think I'm ready for just about anything that I come across in any recipes. Uh, tonight well, we I'm didn't gonna... cut ourselves either. No, look, we're perfect. <laughs> um, and tonight I'm going to try some of it on my curry and oh, good. work on from there. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for coming by. And... Oh, I enjoyed it. I really yeah. did, especially when we got through all the session together. No one got nicked or cut, right. and we had a good time. I just enjoyed it yeah. very, well, very much. Actually, you invited us here. You didn't come by here. We came yeah. by. We <laughs> That's <appreciate>. true. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome.